The following program is paid for by DeFalco Advertising and does not represent views and opinions of WCGV. Right, this is Take Two Plus, and this is Week 13. This is Week 31, the sound editing of Face Off. We're talking about two gentlemen in particular, kind of a um, um, uh, Calvin and Hobbes. Uh, this is, of course, is Mark P. Stockinger and Per Hallberg. I, I definitely wouldn't call them the Calvin Hobbes. I think this is like the only film they worked on together. This is just some <laughs> random partnership. So I have a friend, and he's not sure of what sound editing is. What uh, what could what could one tell my friend, Tyler? <laughs> is this Mr. X your friend, or just another friend? Uh, you know just as well as I do that <laughs> not my friend. <laughs> Sound editing, I think that specifically sound effects editing that these guys were nominated for is uh, what you do in post to make everything sound the way it should sound. An explosion should sound like an explosion. A car chase should sound like a car chase. Uh, it's basically putting together your elements in an editing room in post. Mm -hmm. Your sound effects elements. Can you say sound that again, please? Element. So I, what does post mean, first of all? <laughs> Uh, anyways, there's a lot of sweet sound effects in Face Off. I'm just trying to think of what they were. In a, it's probably just the uh, the fights, the the gun battle sequences, the explosions, the yeah, the bullets, the ricochets, the you know the the sound of the jet on the runway, the sounds of the cars chasing the jet. Don't forget the sound, the sound of Nicolas Cage eating a peach for hours. Mm, it's, it's yeah, it's Chris heavy Mike. ADR. I'm not really sure what he's awful. referring to with the whole peach thing. Tyler, do, can you explain it, please? Uh, I'd rather not. If I told you that Titanic and Face Off are nominated for Academy Award in the same category, that's all, the odds of that are already pretty like low, right? The chances that they won the award are just <laughs> sound effects, sound editing, uh, visual effects. Like these are the categories where like big budget films that make a lot of money in general and general audiences tend to adore. These are the uh, the categories where they get their Oscars, and people who like Oscars don't really give a crap because. Uh, I was very briefly looking at the history of this award and you can kind of tell that the Academy doesn't care about it all that they much, don't. it feels like. They it's changed. Does. I was looking up in 63, it was called a Sound Effects Oscar and then 75, they changed the Special Achievement Award and they wouldn't even like necessarily have nominees. They just sometimes give it to a movie, sometimes yeah. give it to nobody. Is it because movies have, like, weren't uh, worthy of this procedure? I guess. Award. And then in 79, it became sound editing. 81, they changed the sound effects editing. 2000, they changed the sound editing. 2003, it became uh, sound editing and sound mixing, two different Oscars. Oh. So and that's then what it I became like. uh, just last year again, they just combined them back into one and now it's just best sound. So it's changed like eight times over the oh, course. Oh, wow. Of the really? That's why it's so messed up. Okay. Yeah. yeah and sometimes really... it's in one award. Sometimes it's two. Sometimes it's none. Like there's a bunch of years we just skipped it and huh. didn't hand it out to anybody. <laughs> That's um, when you can tell the Academy doesn't care. Like Tyler was saying, like they yeah. just, yeah. Like if they keep changing it this often, it's either it's not working. So either get rid of the award or shuffle it off to the technical stuff. Are you suggesting that this category is not worthy? of Oscar consideration. I'm not saying it's not worthy. Like it takes some creative talent to edit it together. I'm just saying it's not an award that is flashy. Yeah. That people every, care about. every aspect of filmmaking, as far as I'm concerned, is worthy of being Oscar worthy. You know what I mean? It's, it's worthy of winning an Oscar. But like at the same time, that doesn't mean every single Oscar needs to be on the main show. And it couldn't be like a <laughs> So nice... that's what we're talking about is yeah. just a TV show? Like, like, well, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, it, well, but I think we just talked about it as a big scam, a marketing scam. Yeah. The uh, Thelma and Louise. <laughs> Can we just call the them Calvin Hobbes? Editing darlings. I don't know if this is the actually the only film they worked on together. I, from what I can tell, I think it is. So then why would they be working together? Well, again, it's hard to tell with how like the Academy has now changed these ca the category and melded it into things over the years. Like they might not have been working 
directly with one another. It might've been like, this guy was in charge of this one thing. This other guy was in charge of another aspect of it. And they would have like probably conferences with each other and like mm. oversee different aspects of it. But it's hard to tell right now. I mean, I don't know specifically. Well, I, you know what? I, I do Ooh. know that I am just so excited about the sound effects of Face Off. Stockinger would get nominated <laughs> for another two Oscars. He'd get nominated in 2009 for Star Trek. And then he would get nominated uh, in 2011 for one of Quentin Tarantino's favorite movies, Unstoppable. Uh, Is it really? Then, Fun, yeah. The most famous thing about Unstoppable. Yeah, that's, that's why I said it, because for some reason, he, he loves that film. I think um, you could really say, though, that uh, looking at uh, Mark Stockinger's uh, credentials, like he's pretty much like A-list um, sound effects he, guy. he is, but you know who's better? Pearl Halberg. <laughs> He's been nominated for four Academy Awards, and the only one he's ever lost is the one he was nominated with Stockinger for, for Face Off. <laughs> Stockinger is hey, no what you're implying there, Sean. Wow. I'm not what saying anything. Halberg yeah, won Academy Award for Braveheart uh, two years before Face Off. Sure did. Do you know the movie he did right before Face Off was uh, Albino Alligator? <laughs> That uh, does not sound like a particularly great film, but uh, I hey. love that albino alligator is bookended with uh, Oscar nominations. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah, so and, he's, uh, uh, he did uh, he did literally Heat and Courage Under Fire, and then he did Albino Alligator. Albino. Whoa! Uh, Sorry, fuck. I just looked up uh, Albino Alligator because the title was so hilarious, and it's directed by a man named Kevin Spacey. What? It's not the actual Kevin Spacey. It's though, Kev, it? according to IMDb, it's Kevin what? Spacey. <laughs> Um, uh, sorry for that non sequitur well no I, I want to know more about Albino Alligator coming out in 1996 uh, well, described it do... as intense Gary Sinise oh my god it's not actually what I was expecting when I was looking at the title on the poster while still... escaping from a yeah. foiled robbery attempt three thieves find themselves um, all white people though so kind of makes sense albino yeah, yeah. uh anyway halberg would also go on to win the academy award uh for a couple other films but now i'm on my ski on, or my albino alligator <laughs> coach that was uh all born ultimatum in 2007 he won it for and he won uh, what for Sean? he won best achievement in sound editing so that's what they were calling it then well, for, born, for born ultimatum in 2007 and then uh, best achievement in sound editing again for skyfall in 2012 so two of the better action films of the past like 20 years Mm-hmm. Went on a one yeah. corner. Well, but, yeah. I'm just so excited about all the sound effects. I truly believe that with sound effects, movies can be uh, even better. So I mm-hmm. love you, Per, and I love you, Mark. Thank you for all of your achievements. I do have a small message, though, that I would like to address. Maybe. It is of critical importance that no one writes X in the ballot box because what happens is that counts as Mr. X. And so if he has enough X, X's in the, it just not even, e, e, not don't even have to write Mr. X. You just write the X in the box. That counts as Mr. X. So you have to do a check no. mark. Chris, I don't know how we many can keep Mr. X from actually not becoming the prime works. minister of Canada. Chris, can I, I just know. ask a quick question, Chris? When do you plan to release this episode? In two weeks. And when's the election? I don't know. Okay. I don't vote. Hey, that's pretty good.